Hello everyone, my name is Richika Jain. I am from Wandi. I'm working as a customer support engineer. Today, I'll be taking you through a small video on how to troubleshoot issues with serial lines. So let's see the agenda. This troubleshooting session is specific to serial cards like HVIC 1T, HVIC 2T, HVIC 4T. Uh, I'll be showing you different states of serial interfaces, common issues, and uh, basic troubleshooting approach. Also, we will be seeing how to perform a software loopback test. So uh, we can identify different serial interface status by issuing command show interface serial. We can see uh, if serial interface is up, if it is down, if it is up down, if it is disabled, if it is administratively down down. There, there could be many things. So uh, if you see your serial interface is up, this is the perfect scenario and uh, no troubleshooting is needed uh, at that point. In case you see any other status uh, other than up, so we need to troubleshoot it, uh, but we need to identify the problems. So if you issue command show interface serial and you see your serial interface is down and line protocol is down. Possible problem here could be your device is not sensing carrier detect. Maybe uh, there's an ISP issue. Maybe uh, the cable is not installed properly or it could be a hardware issue. So what we need to do to tr troubleshoot it. First thing what we can do is we can check the LED on CSU DSU if it is active. We can verify cabling by reinserting it and check if it is helping in resolving the issue. Also, we can go to ISP and we can ask them like if there is any issue from their end and we can ask them to rectify it. We can swap uh, the faulty part with uh, any working part in our site and check if that is helping. That means it would be a hardware issue. Also, we can perform as a further uh, troubleshooting step. We can perform a software loopback test on the port. Also, we can perform software loopback test on modem. Now we'll see how to perform a soft loopback test. So uh, you can see on slide, this is the basic uh, serial network. So we have routers and we have CSU DSU, that is a uh, ISP managed device. Now let's see how to perform a software loopback test. This is our device. We can issue command show inventory. To see device details, so this is a Cisco 1841 device with Atwick 1D installed in it. So here we see our interface is 000. So as mentioned earlier, the, this is an up up state, so no troubleshooting is required here. But I can show you how to perform a software loopback test. Perform a software loopback test, we need to configure command loopback under serial interface. So now if we will check our interface status, we can see it is in looped state. When we check our serial interface status after giving a loop, if it is in up up state, then it shows the issue is not with the hardware. But uh, uh, in more, many cases we have seen like after performing a software loopback test, if it is coming up, then also it is not a conclusive, re conclusive result. Many a times it happens like after coming up in the soft loopback test also, we have seen like issue is with the hardware. So in that scenario, what we ask, uh, uh, ask customers to do is to perform a hard plug loopback test, which always gives a conclusive result and we can rely on it. If it is in downtown state, then we can conclude here that it is a hardware issue. If it is in up up state, then as a next step, we can perform extended ping test. To perform an extended ping test, we can type command ping IP. 
it will ask for IP address. Here, IP address will be of our serial interface. Repeat count, we can give 50. Datagram size, we can give 1500. Extended command, yes. Enter, enter. Yes, enter, enter. Data pattern, here I'm giving 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. The first thing that we need to check after performing our ping test is it should be 100% successful. If it is not, that means issue is with hardware. So uh, what we need to do is we can perform our ping test with different data patterns. Here I'll show you how to perform extended ping test with some different uh, datagram pattern. Repeat count again, we can give 50, here 1500, extended, yes, enter, enter, yes, enter, enter, data pattern, uh, last time I chose 0x0000, now I'll give 0x5555, we just have to do enter. So again, we see our ping test is successful. So we have performed loopback test on this device and it is successful. If it is not successful, then we can say that it is a hardware problem. But it is successful, then as a next step, what we can do is we can ask ISP to perform a loopback, soft loopback test on CSU DSU. In case soft loopback test on CSU DSU is not coming up, that means issue is on the ISP end and they have to check it. In case it is coming up, then the third step what we can do is we can ask them to perform a hard plug loopback test. Since CSU DSU are ISP managed devices, so we need to request ISP to perform that for us. They will be performing hard plug loopback test towards our router and they will be checking if that is coming up. If it is not coming up, that means issue, is, could, issue could be from our device or it, it could be from cable. And if it is coming up, then we need to uh, check this further. If it is, uh, if hard plug loopback test is not coming up, we can request ISP to swap this cable with some other working cable and check if uh, issue is getting resolved. If yes, issue gets resolved, then we need to swap this cable. Uh, our cable, uh, cable is faulty. In case it is not coming up, then we can conclude like issue is on our device. Uh, this is how we perform a software loopback test. Now we will check for other states of serial interface. In case your issue command shows serial interface uh, and you see your serial interface is up down, that time the possible problem could be maybe your local or remote router is misconfigured. Maybe key polites are not being sent to the device. Uh, again, it could be an ISP issue. Sometimes uh, this could be a clocking issue also. So uh, that I will show you uh, in the next slide how to resolve it. Sometimes your local or remote uh, CSU DSU has failed or again it could be a hardware issue. So as mentioned earlier, here also we have to perform the same steps. We need to perform a software loopback test first on our device. Then second step, we can ask ISP to perform a software loopback test on their end. Third thing will be performing a hard plug loopback test that we need to request from ISP and check if issue is from ISP end or from hardware. Uh, we can also verify cabling by uh, issuing command show controller to check which cable is attached to which interface. Sometimes we see serial interface is in upstate line protocol is down and it is shown as disabled. In this case, a possible problem could be it is a fault from ISPN, your CSU DSU has gone uh, wrong, maybe an issue, is issue is with your router. So for this, what we can, uh, we can do is we can ask ISP to perform a DTE loop on CSU DSU if the problem continues, then it would be a hardware problem. If uh, after performing this problem is getting resolved, then it is a ISP issue. Sometimes we see serial interfaces administratively down and line protocol is down. 
So we have seen in many cases uh, by mistake uh, shut command is configured under the interface. So that time you can just uh, uh, configure no shut command under your interface and this will get resolved. Inverting the transmit clock. Sometimes we have seen like if you are attempting serial connections at speeds that is greater than 64 kbps with a CSU DSU that does not support SCT that is serial clock transmit external or sometimes uh, it could be uh, we could say it as a clocking mismatch issues that time we can configure these simple five steps to resolve this you just have to configure command invert tx clock and serial resync disable under serial interface and you will see this clocking mismatch issue will be solved after this so that's for the day uh, i hope uh, this was useful for you Thank you. Have a nice day.